fellow beings of Middle-earth, and welcome back to the Isengard campaign. This is the 16th episode, and today we are going to get besieged by Uflug the Mauler. I have played a little bit off camera, just one turn, uh, just cleaning up a couple of armies and such. We're still sieging out Rockburg, and we have started besieging Edraikan with Naghur, and I'm sending a general down here, just to have a proper general. Now around here, Mother is probably going to attack Oitimor. That's no biggie. We got some wild, some berserkers here. Uh, I just took out Morigost, which just means we'll be able to get trolls and berserkers from another place as well. So actually, these guys should now head out, and we should just start conquering more of Mother, to be honest. And they're going to be fine with that. We should probably bring down these armies first. They can be a pain in the ass. And it looks like Harald is probably going to attack now, considering they are standing right here. So we might get some trouble. So I am going to start recruiting units here. Uh, yeah, for next turn. Let's just wait a little bit with that one. And uh, let's just get a lot of troops, actually. I'm also getting a catapult in Utatau. I'm uh, thinking about just holding this bridge uh, uh, against Harald. But we might want to start pushing in against them, if they're going to be aggressive. I am sieging out Ustur our, over here, and Team Bretil is probably going over here. Lagrad was just a scout. And Enoath have started making some large armies here. So I'm thinking to start finally pushing against Enoath. I have prepared some troops here, which I'm probably going to send out in next turn. And I believe that the Nazkai is going to spawn this turn. So now we're actually just at the end of the turn. So let's see if they spawn. Because then we could send at least one of them to against Enoath. Start bringing them down finally. They've been a real pain in the ass. It also looks like the Den Landings might be um, betraying us soon. Because our influence with them have just dropped... And dropped and dropped. Yes, they are going to attack Oitimor. No big deal. They're attacking the camp. And they're going to attack Lurs as well. Now, let's see what they got. That's a pretty nice stack, to be honest. But still, it's just going to be a complete slaughter. I might show part of the battle. Because this is a pretty cool army, and they have a pretty cool force as well. I will see about it. There he goes. I decided to not show the battle. It was just a normal kind of battle where we just surround them completely. Or they basically just run out of morale pretty on, And then they were off the map. Just use these archers and try to bring down a lot of these guys. It's nice to have some cavalry back in the force. It's really, really helpful. It's definitely a big difference. Two cavalry units should probably be optimal for this army. We should reinforce this army though. It's, it's becoming a bit battered after this battle. Even though we didn't lose that many. Still going to lose a lot. They lost 85. And they have a very large army, so that's very nice. Alright, let's just end it there. 3000 killed, 198 lost. Vorg Marauders doing the best. Even Gondor Cavalry Militia can perform or kill like 600 orcs in a battle. Like, Cavalry is just so OP in this game. I keep repeating that, but that's the moral of the story, guys. However, I don't recommend bringing too many cavalry units in an army. Uh, because the micromanagement is going to be a pain. And you really want that solid ground infantry to support your units as well. That's very important. And you will not be able to micromanage it properly. That's, that's very important. At least I can't. But if you want to play at 0 0.5 speed, then it might be the best, to be honest. Nazgul joins Saruman. I'm going to let you read this. You can just pause the video. Nazgul 
We have come, Lord Saruman, command us. I welcome you, O Nazgul, for we have work to do. A cold shadow swept over Isengard, spreading far and wide, blowing through every window and every door, casting a darkness around the hearts of the living. A Nazgul had arrived in Isengard. Ah, Dwar of Vav and Huar Murath of Deer. They got the Nazgai, guys. Finally. We've been waiting so long for this to happen. Alright, now we're going to see some Nazg high action. Huar Murath of Deer, you're going to lead this army to victory. We two are taking these guys. That should be more than sufficient enough. We definitely need some more archers for this um, army though. And we don't have a lot of money. We're recruiting a lot. Faction announcements, end of turn report. Now, Dwar of Wav, where should we send him? I'm almost tempted to send him over here to keep this going. And he's definitely going to... Actually, we could need him over here. That would be awesome. As the more battles with the Nazgai, the better. Now, Solgush, I'll have to take care of. Get ready for fighting. I'm going to as well. Yeah, it's still going to be a while until we can recruit here. That's just a remnant. Just going to alter so that even though that's kind of stupid. It's alright at this point. I think they had an army around here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they do. Alright, we'll have to take care with, of those with lurks. And in the meanwhile, meanwhile, we're just going to let these places build up properly, as we are doing at the moment. We can get more units there if, if we wish. Now, soldiers will have to be taken care of. Bellegarm is no threat. And the, the serpents backed off, that's very nice. We'll get a catapult and some wargs here. And we'll get more units here as well. We're making not very much at the moment. But we'll get uh, this settlement in not too long. They're actually just standing right outside. I'm just going to let them attack us. They just have shit in their armies. Turthau can hold up for now. And it's only four turns until Castle Doom goes down. That's beautiful. Wow, I can't wait to see these guys in action. It's going to be such a nice battle. Nah, school. Alright, let's get these arches. That would be perfect. And then we're going to start hitting anyway, for real. I'm tired of these scum. They should be sent back to where they belong. Let's just get some free upkeep. I believe that we can greatly reduce our upkeep if we really wanted to at this point. This army, for example, costs a lot. But we do want this army intact on the other hand. We could probably send a couple of troops up to Taulors. On the other hand, I think we can be able to defend this place quite easily. It's just pitiful armies. I'm just going to let them gather up many troops and we're going to see a great battle, that would be cool. But in that case we probably want to leave at least some of these guys up here. We took out all the leads, let's just see how this army would look at that point. Yeah, then it's more even actually. But with the general, it should be fine. We will need more troops up here, I think. Just to be safe. These guys will bring down Rockberg in two turns. We're just going to let them siege them out because they actually have a very great army. And we don't even have a proper general. This could actually become a loss, to be honest. Around here, we do have really what we need. 
put it out here. I guess over here we can send some of these troops uh, towards Lurts. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Uh, just let them merge up in next turn. We should also start taking out Gellibrin. That's just an annoying castle which just stands there at the moment. That should probably be sufficient enough. And now let's deal with Soldush. This arm is fine. If we just bring in... We even have a catapult right here. I think all we need is just some cavalry and some berserkers to be honest. Actually this cavalry will be enough. They still won't be able to bring us down. Alright, I'll fight this battle off camera. Alright, there we kill off. The Urukai pikemen didn't lose a single Uruk. They just really shine this battle. And that just proves the strength of them when they are in a proper position. So I'm really looking forward to bringing out large armies with Urukai pikemen, Nazkai, Olukai. Uh, yeah, we're going to bring out elite armies and send them towards the ruin and such. Like, we're, we're going to conquer a lot of Middle-earth. Of course, I haven't decided how much just yet. We'll have to see how fun it is playing around with the Nazkai. Because they are deadly monsters. And I haven't really found any other campaigns on YouTube that has the Nazkai. So I think it's quite unique. So I'm really looking forward to seeing some action from them, just kill, like, just throwing the Natha bombs and just slaughtering units. I have tested them in custom battle before, and their hit points is absolute beast. Uh, their Natha bombs is okay, they still have like 12 missile, but it's not where they shine the most. Their real killing comes from their flanking capabilities, they're an excellent flanking unit. Alright, let's just uh, adopt this guy. Doesn't hurt. Oh, that's such an ugly image. Wow. Alright, he will just go to Urbus. I guess these guys can go to Lurts. You hold our burst for now. And is there really anything else to do this turn? Wow, these guys are really pushing, aren't they? Captain Asali. It's going to be a hard, hard one, this one. We definitely do want to... Oh, we can actually bring, that, bring these guys down now. Alright, that was nice. That ultra soul was actually very good. There we go. Now we took back Uskthor. And Stuart Derverin is, is holding up, but he is going to struggle. Let's just repair this shit and let's get the shrine. That's some more money again. Now this army will be no threat at all. Up here though we do have a sufficient force. Let's just get some free upkeep. To help our coffers a little bit. Yeah, that definitely gave us a boost. When Huad Murath is coming, these guys will be completely killed off. Dwar is headed down here. Two turns. Could have been cool with a siege battle here, but I think these guys are actually is going to slaughter us. Oh yeah, of course we, we left these guys now. It's only a couple more turns until we'll get Castle Doom. Four turns. That's going to be a huge boost to us. Let's just get rid of some of these units. I'm gonna stick you. I suppose we could send these guys to the fort. Alright, let's end the turn. Let's see what will happen. I definitely want to see the Nazkai in not too long now. Oh wow, the, the general actually escaped from uh, Oitimor. Or Minas Morgul. That's unfortunate. They're not going to sell out even with this army. Then we can just siege them out with this pitiful army. That's perfect. Dolguldor is probably going to cop some threat. So we do want to get rid of them when we can. 
As much as I like to play the Castle Doom map, it's very buggy. Right. Lebanon under siege. Oh, they're taking down Pelagi now. Alright, some more cav. That's very good. We can recruit them here as well, so that means we could probably get some free upkeep. That was a lot of troops uh, recruited. In Isengard, we now have the Beast Training Ground. That just... Yeah, it's just going to allow us to recruit a couple more units. Now, I'm going to spend a lot of few, uh, coins over here. Ah, uh, yes. Now we have the Elite Army. And we're just going to move on these armies. Lord Saruman. Yeah, it's just... Different shit. These guys are coming for Fukaus, though. That's really unfortunate. He's going to be here in one turn as well. Eonan can't really hold up. Let's get all the troops we can on this front. Now if he will start pushing us Fukaus. We can't just... Right, we're just going to push this way. We do have a lot of troops here, which could have helped. But they're not going to reach in time. I'm just going to let this best be sacrificed. We don't really have a foothold here anyways. We do have some culture, but it will be fine. We do have some kind of force. At least we'll bring their numbers down quite heavily. Alright, soon we will have these elites. I do want to make an elite army. Dwar. Ah, oh, he's really fast as well. He will be here in not very long. Now, you could just bring down Soldush on the way. Couldn't you? Yeah. There we go. Let's go for this place now. Let's build a watchtower here. Malthak has actually joined the invasion. He will not be able to do much about it. Now let's just bring in some elites here. Let's get some trolls. How long is it until we can recruit the Nazca in 11 turns from Baladur? That's awesome. Could it have more? We have some extra troops available. This fort is already filled up. We do have most of these places filled up, yeah. I guess this catapult. Oh, we're actually getting a catapult down here, aren't we? Let's send these guys up here. I suppose we could just fill up this fort as well. Just having a lot of troops readily available is going to be a huge advantage when the Saffrons decides to attack us. Right, one turn here. I don't think this army is actually strong enough. Or we could be able to surround them, but we don't have a proper general. They are probably going to sell out. Now Gash is just going to join here. Just sieging this place out. And Lagduv. Uflog is all alone. I don't know what's happened here. Still building these places. Three turns. The reason I could have taken out this army and been more efficient. Same with this place. Or actually we will, will not be able to siege that out. Neither will we be able to siege this place out. I wonder what will happen on this front. It's going to be very weird. All right. And we could have taken out this guy as well. It's just that I don't really care. I just want to see the Nazgul in action now. Just want to send these guys out. It's what we have been waiting so long for. But we're already getting them at the 102nd turn. That's not very bad. It can usually take a lot longer. Uh, they are going to sally out. Let's just see how large their force is. They have been... Siege out for a long time. 
there's 800 these guys should be able to pull it off like we don't even have almost any arches so just surrounding them should be possible and ultra resolve is probably going to let them win though all right, I will I will play this battle. I think we can pull it off. It's going to be very even though. But we need the money and this is causing costing a lot of upkeep. So I will I will fight these guys off and I will be right back. All right, the doom of the elves is here, just completely surrounding them. But we are taking major losses though. It's to be expected. Let's see how these guys fare against spears. Yeah, actually, it's not too bad for us, it looks like. Oh, it was really bad, actually. Now, these guys could probably be used over here. Yavanna's yeah, chosen. Still haven't lost anyone. They're still doing some solid numbers on us. Even against the Yavanna's yeah, chosen, these works are performing so well. It's incredible. These guys are getting perfect sh arcing shots into... Not perfect arcing shots, but perfect... Shots into these guys. Nice, just look at that. Alright, I just want to show you this, but um, I will be back up. And there he goes. Awesome. Took it out. Heavy losses though, but to be expected. And now our lands will unite and probably our income is going to go drastically up. That's going to be a nice addition. Now, after all, we are going to obtain 9 Nazgul. So we'll be able to have a Nazgul at every front of the world. Which I'm looking very much forward to. But at the moment, we'll have to take down NY. And we will need someone against the Haradrim and such. They're going to start sieging us out. I believe they're only like 4 units. So that's going to be very easy. Now we're finally going to see the Nazca in action. Nazca combined with trolls, that's going to be one hell of a battle. I'm also just going to engage my trash though, just to get rid of some of those. We want to have elite armies. The Nazca shall not lead uh, utter trash into battle. We want him to lead, to lead the best of the best. Khan Doom under siege. For Kaush can Israel to upgrade. Lebanon has fallen. They have taken Pelargi now. Which means this is probably going to get attacked in not very long. Actually they can stay there. Thurtau. Now let's see. Yeah we're, we're making a lot more money now. Let's get this shrine. And let's just merge the troops, and let's just leave these two perhaps. Yeah, that will be alright. Let's go up to Gash. And Nuzu, you're going to start building watchtowers. La Florian will soon be history. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there is a lot of armies here now. Still is only trash, just look at this. It's utter trash. I'm gonna stick you. We do have some wargs here. We could very easily take them out in a matter of seconds. Let's get this. How long until we can start recruiting the Nazca? Only five turns. Right, let's get a Dark Temple. Just to get some more experience bonus. Which is actually... Experience bonus is actually going... It's going to be gone in the next update. Alright. I am going to play this battle just to see who are Murath of Deer in action. I'm probably going to let him go into melee almost at his own and just see how many I can take down. Min Hiriath Warriors. I haven't seen those before. That's cool. They might be... I, th I believe this is a new unit. Well, I will see you on the battlefield, because we're going to see the Nazkai. Here they are, guys, the Nazkai.
All right, let's take a look at their stats. 15 melee attack, that's very strong. But in addition, they are effective against armor, and they're skilled against mounts, and they frighten nearby inf enemy infantry, which makes their enemy uh, melee attack incredibly good against armored units like the dwarves. They will absolutely slot them. Their missile attack is 12, that's up with the elven elites, and they fire like naphtha bombs. Their total defense is 28, and they have 18 armor, so they are quite vulnerable to uh, armor piercing. However, they got two hit points in addition, which just doubles their armor by quite much. This is just very incredible units. Now, I also saw that I got the Trolls of the White Hand here. Um, or if you upgrade the Trolls armor, they will have this armor. So that's very nice as well. Now, they're going to be quite vulnerable to... Let's see actually if we can use these guys properly in, uh, in uh, battle now. I really want to get some Javis in. I'm, I'm going to let... I'm probably going to send two more units up here though, just to be make sure we don't lose Nazca in the first battle. But I want to see how incredibly strong these guys can be on their own. Alright, let's just uh, make them uh, make them attack us. This is just a pitiful force. I'm going to use the wargs and then these guys are going to come in. Get them targeted. Still haven't lost anyone. We're going to see how they hold up against the uh, arrow fire and such. Minhiriath warriors. They are the unit I want to bring down with the Nazkai. Just going to give them a little taste of my works first. Oh, that was actually two units right there. Alright, I want them to get into melee. Now... Let's see how they will perform now. If we continue like this, we will now they're now going to throw their naphtha bombs. Wow! <laughs> Jeez. That didn't take so as many as I thought it would, but it's still very incredible. Just look at this. Wow! <laughs> incredible. They still haven't lost a single... There we go. Now let's just throw them into melee. And the ability is making these guys in fighting is just such an incredible unit. Now let's get these guys out of here. Let's just let the Nazkai do their thing. Why are these guys firing? They have lost a couple now. I just really want to test these guys. The Nazgul is here so he's alright. Just want to see how they perform. Oh jeez, these wargs are probably getting charged. Yeah, they will eat up these grey fobs quite alright. These guys are getting targeted though. That's not what we really want. Not want to waste this army entirely. Just wanted to test the Nazgul. And you see they're absolutely slaughtering these units. They lost like 12 and they're still very healthy. There the general goes. Now it's only about time. I want to get max experience on these guys very quickly. That's going to be very interesting. Now I'm not playing to the most optimal in this battle. I just wanted to show off the Nazca just to make sure. Don't misunderstand me. Oh yeah. Just look at these monsters go. They look incredible. I just run them through. And they're still not going to take any losses by that. That's such a nice feature. Let you guys just bring down those. With these guys we could probably conquer a lot just on its own. Alright, let's just capture those, and that is alright. Okay, the Nazca, 177, lost 14. That's a nice start. I want to see them in siege battle, so in a very hard siege battle. For example, against Deadwooding, which is now down, going to Anulond. If we had this Nazca inside there, that could have been an 
outstanding performance. In such battles they go to perform very well. But I can just imagine how these guys will perform against non-armor-piercing dwarves. Alright, that's nice. Let's uh, reclaim this. Awesome. These guys will go to Forge. We'll just have them... Oh, Dordir is here. That's actually just what we wanted. Just going to alter solve it. And that wasn't too bad. Our alter souls with this army is doing very good to be honest. Oh, these guys are now turning back. That's excellent. Let's just finish them off. Let's take back Taos Kachatrog. We do have a couple of units here now. And these guys are also, yeah. Let's get the medium encampment. Let's get more units rolling. Let's just get these guys in the fort. Get ready for fighting. Let's bring down Thalagrondus now. That is so peaceful. Why have they decided to do this battle? Alright, fight it off. There you go. Lost 12%. Let's just eat some more men. There we go. Excellent. This is what we have really been want waiting so long for in this campaign. Just Nazca just can't wait to use them properly. This is a cool picture I haven't seen before. Looks like the Orcs of Gundabad or something. Yeah. Some Orcs, some kind of Orcs of the Misty Mountains of some sort. Probably from Gundabad. It looks quite fierce and strong. Yeah, the banner of Gundabad right here. Right, there they go. Ah, we can actually adopt the general. Let's just get him. We need more generals on this front. No sleeping here. These these pictures are just so ugly. Oh, Jesus. Can't really construct a watchtower here. There we can. Yeah, they're bringing more forces. No worry. We'll have them. Let's see how the Lamoth is holding up. I want to get it before these buggers. I'll see till it's soon time to go hit that segment. Grublik and Rami just get rid of. Would be nice. Ah, it's actually quite loaded that castle. What do we got? Two units of arches. Three units actually. Should be able to pull it off. I suppose we could send some of these. We actually have space for one more unit there. Let's just get them here. Yeah, that's the limit. Let's just get rid of one of these. And let's send... No sleeping here. Let's send these guys down there. It's going to give us some more coins. No have a taste of my blade. Yeah, I will have to you. stop this army. At some point. I will fight it off camera. Well, they go down. 9% lost. I just get rid of these buggers. Once and for all. With our cavalry. They are almost dead now. Almost completely gone, to be honest. Let's uh, send some more cavalry over here. Actually, we are doing so. Now, this orc hunters is just a pitiful unit. But they will hold and. For a little while at least. We do have them up in Karaskalaton, just as a trash unit. 
that's the kind of unit you can just throw away without even caring about it. Because it's just so trash. Let's go. Boromir fighting for his death. Now I suggest you go and watch my Gondorian campaign if you haven't. It's a very good let's play. It's it's my first campaign on the channel. So it's the logistics aren't as well, but the campaign itself is marvelous. Probably my best campaign ever. We're just rocking the world. We we bring down all the south and the east. And we even have to go into civil war with the Lamrock and Rohan because they attack us. This is a very special situation. Alright, you just head out here. Or here. Should probably go down here. Um, Baradur can hold off this settlement. But this settlement, Morigos can't hold off that settlement, so. Let's get the work bigger here. Let's fill up this fort. Oh yeah, it's already filled up actually. I suppose it's just time to fill up with elites now. How many can we have space for? Yeah. Let's just get some more of these and place them out here. I guess um, going for some mines now wouldn't be too bad. Even though when we capture Kazadun that could be no problem. How long is it? Two turns. That's exciting. It's just pitiful armies everywhere. Come on. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. You can just wait here in the mean, meantime. Alright, let's end one more turn. And let's try to see if we can see the Nazca in one more battle before we end this episode. Now it's time to finish off Gondor and the Lamoth. They have been here for way too long now. No point in having them here. Now the new uh, war will start with all the servants of Sauron. Oh, Jesus. They're attacking the camp. They're really going to attack that place. And the worst thing about this is that I don't think we can even help. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't think we can help there either. Defend the camp. That's stupid. Oh well. I'm marrying Wrath Renewed. What does that? Oh, they lost Kandun. Wow. Dale Prosperous. Kingdom of Gondor and Varags of Khan. That's just. The nail in the coffin, isn't it? No sleeping here. Listen up. I'm gonna stick you. Yeah, there's just no way Listen without the catapult, though. Get ready for fighting. Listen up. Get ready for fighting. Come on. Or if we attack now, attack. yeah, it will actually. Oh, it's only one unit. Wow. That's awesome though. Let's just go with the catapult. Nine turns. Now it's not very long until we can recruit them here. Four turns. Alright, let's get these guys to the fort. Futad. Ah, Matufka. Is completely left alone now. But we should probably take out this army first so that we don't have to lose these guys. We have no hurry up here. Alright, now starts the end of Gondor. The very end. See you, Yeah, let's just start sieging at this place again. Wow, this, these settlements have been swapped. Oh, have they taken? The Corsairs is coming as well. They have taken Methodist. Wow. 
We cannot really wage war on the sea though, we don't have any fleets at all. Kefa. Oh wow. The Lamroth is completely screwed now. All of these armies is going to be a struggle even for us. So I'm looking forward for Dwar coming down here. Dwar of wow. What about here? Ah, oh, they're actually bringing in some armies now. So I'll have to defeat these armies just so that... Oh wow, they actually got a nice army here. Black Shield Archers, Pale Uruks. Wow, we're going to see some cool units here, guys. That's nice. It's the Orcs of Gundabad. How come? I'm gonna stick you. Get ready for fight. And these guys are coming as well. Wow, the things are really spicing up here. I like that. I'm gonna stick you. Let's get him all the way down there. Get ready for fighting. And you're going to go up there. I'm gonna stick you. Well, suddenly, it's another situation, but it's one turn until we will fight the battle for Castle Doom. They are completely screwed up. Alright, let's just end the battle with... I will only address you in with taking down Futad. Just to see Huar Murath of Deer once again. And probably these trolls as well. What do they got? These guys are probably armor-piercing. They got so many Javis and they're just so deadly against or uh, trolls, that's the thing though. These guys as well. Alright, I will see you on the battlefield. Now I'm not going to use my entire army this time either, but now I'm going to see how the um, Nazkai work as a flanking unit. So let's get these guys close now. And we're going to use the trolls as well. Just going to see how powerful such an army can be. Right, let's get these guys guys out of sight. Trolls and Nazkai as a flanking unit. That's going to be such a deadly force. And then I'm just going to let these depleted units take some hits. This is just to illustrate once again how the Nazkai and the trolls work out. Oh, these guys are probably aiming at the trolls. Or not anymore. They are going to get a nice charge. Right, let's get them around. The Nazca are getting targeted, but they didn't lose a single unit. Now, we don't want the trolls to go up against armor piercing units. Right, those units will be completely swept away. Oh, let's let's go for the farm. Now, we were going to illustrate the flanking capabilities of this unit. Alright, let's just throw Javis right into their backs. The Moot Keepers, for example. The trolls can stay here for a little longer. The trolls can, yeah. Just back up a little bit. Oh, wow! Just look at this. Now, come on, give me some real hits here. That is incredible. You know, they're not as overpowered as I thought they would be. They are monsters though. Just look at that. Now I take the on the river elders. Oh wow. Alright. Give these buggers a charge. And the trolls, you go down and take the mood keepers actually. Javis is bringing these guys down, there's no doubt about it. And even with all these, okay, they're, they're actually losing a lot in that particular situation. Let's not get them completely... Oh, wow. After all those Javis, they're still holding up very well, though, to be honest. Right, you take down the Mood Keepers and you... Uh, they're targeting these guys now. Let's bring down those. And let's just give these guys a ride. Nice guy. Take down these Angren Raiders. Yeah, this is not proper battlefield tactics. Just keep repeating that. 
just want to see these burgers. Oh, yeah. That's how you do it, guys. That charge is deadly. How much charge do they got? 12. That's incredible. Truly incredible. Now, where's the other troll units? They're here. Alright, let's take down the enemy hunters. We take down the farm and pikemen. And you just do what you do. Let's bring down these Chavis though. Yeah, okay, let's just get um, get this battle over with. These guys are arm piercing. Now we're finally starting to get some XP on these guys. These works were really confused. Now let's see a charge from the Trolls of the White Hand. Oh, look at that. Getting absolutely slaughtered. Where's the other troll unit? They're right here. Now let's hope we don't lose any trolls. In the next update, the Nazca is going to get a, an ability called Relentless, which will prevent them from uh, getting uh, surrounded, so that's very nice. Or getting staggered, uh, the staggered animation. Oh, jeez. Let's get these buggers a charge. Let's count the charge to moot uh, keepers with the trolls. There we go. <laughs> Okay, I should really change these battle tactics. I'm just too focused on the trolls and the Nazkai. But it's nice to get rid of some units. We have so much in upkeep costs anyways. We're not even using our whole army. I, I just want to save the elites and get rid of the bad units in this army. And these trolls can also gain some experience. And then we're going to sweep over and white in a large push with a super elite army. That's the plan. Only half the enemy force remains. There we go. Yeah, they are slaughtering these guys. Awesome. Let's just charge in these guys and then. Let these guys finish it off. These guys just keep running. And there he goes to a troll. <laughs> poor, poor guy. Poor, poor guy. Oh, you're supposed to go out to commander now. Just chase down these units. And you trolls can come over here and give these burgers a nice charge. You are just doing what you should and get the farm and pikemen another charge. There they go down. And the trolls can go over here. So the plan worked out, we gained a lot of experience on the units we wanted. And that's probably going to end the Iron Raiders. There we go. Got uh, these guys utterly slaughtered those. They are losing some men, but the general will replenish, so it's very overpowered. Because these guys will just replenish every every battle. But they don't have as many Natha bombs as I thought they would. I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but with their combat skill, I'm definitely not disappointed. Alright, let's just check the kills now. That's what I really care about. 209, and they gave some experience, and trolls, 4 experience each, and non losses. Very nice. The episode will end here. Because um, there's a lot of battles to play around here and the timer is out. But we have finally seen some Nazk high action. Which I think is what this campaign needed at this point. Now the only thing remaining in this campaign now is using very elite armies uh, to bring down large factions. And I really want to play some interesting battles. Here we go. Now let's just get rid of some of these X units. That's fine. 
we have completed an objective. Now this army will just move on. We probably want to send these guys in not too long. We'll have more trolls and such. And in four turns another unit of Nazkai. Which will be nice. Dwar is on his way down here. And we shall start pushing out the Haradrim and the Varyags. And we are also making a push over here. Which is nice. Now let's see how many units they are. They actually got a very large force. Which I don't think we can take with this army. We'll have to send more reinforcements. Yeah, I'll just have to recruit something here. I'm just going to send some trash there and get the job done. And that will be sufficient enough. We can soon recruit the Olokai here as well. We're still waiting for these, these guys. Alright, but uh, it's time to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And we are going to see some action in the next episode. Hopefully we'll take Castle Doom next time. Leave some feedback. Um, about what you want to see from this point on. I will try to get some nice siege battles for you guys. Uh, but I do want to get some nice units as well. And down here we can definitely get some nice battles. Because these guys... Are getting nice units. I'll see you guys for next episode.